Are you in the market for a new chef's knife or a new knife to use in your kitchen? Then maybe today's product that I'll be reviewing is just for you. This is the Forged in Fire History Channel as seen on TV chef knife and paring knife. That's what we're going to be looking at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, and other household items. If that's something that interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button below, clicking the bell so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's talk a little bit more about these forged in fire knives and then we'll do an unboxing. All right, so you have two knives that come in this set. We have this actual chef's knife that it says it goes for about eight inches tall. Okay, so it's eight inches tall. Then we have a paring knife that's three and a half inches. I will say, looking at them, it does have a nice hammered look. And I'll give you a close-up when I unbox them. Um, I think the handles look kind of cheesy. They almost look plasticky. Um, not something I would expect. I bought this for $30, bucks, 29 95 at Walmart. Um, so I'm going to actually get into this and open it up. I'm going to do that off camera because it's got plastic and it's got zip ties. So it's going to take me a little bit of time. So when I come back, I'll have these out and we'll do some tests with them. So I've unboxed the Forged in Fire knife set. This is the chef knife, and this is the paring knife. Now, do you remember how I said in the package this handle looked cheap? When I took this thing out, I thought, whoa, this is heavy. Much heavier than my regular knife that I use. This is the knife I normally use um, for when I cut things. This is the Copper Chef knife. It's, it's a good knife, but look at the difference in size between my regular knife and this one. If I put this behind here, it'll probably even just cover it. That's how big it is. This is a much bigger knife. Um, it's sharp right out of the box, so be very, very careful. It's been um, sharpened is what they say. It's very sharp. Um, the handle here, it's not made out of wood. I, I do believe it's a heavy-duty plastic of sorts, but it's riveted three times through here, and it feels strong and sturdy. Um, they do have this hammered design. Can you see the hammered look on here? Um, it's pretty nice. It's a nice looking knife. And you know what? I checked it out and it looks great in my knife block. Let's look at this. Can you see the handle or the back here of the handle? So the History Channel had this show um, called Forged in Fire. And this was brought out after that. Um, and sort of like, hey, let's talk about the show we had. And this is it. You know what's cool? It does have a certificate of authenticity, too, that came with this. I guess it's a limited run. And my number is 365BH. So that's kind of cool. They're only making them in 2019. Um, I am going to say it does have a 50-year warranty. So if under normal use, um, this thing chips or warps or whatnot, there's a there's a, an address you can send it to. And for 10 bucks, they'll send you a new set. What I want to do is I want to cut some typical household items. We're going to cut some pepperoni. We're going to cut maybe some fruit. We're going to cut some cheese. No pun intended. Um... And then, you know what, I'm going to do something that might void the warranty because in the infomercial, I saw that they, this knife can actually cut another knife. That's how strong it is. And so I'm going to try that. That's going to be the last test that we'll do. And then we'll do our final review. Let's do some tests. So first, we're going to cut just a standard grape. And the reason I'm doing that is because the forged in fire knife claims that it can cut these knives very, very thin. What I want you to do is with knives, always be very, very careful. So I'm going to take this slow and see how thin I can cut this. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Let's see. Paper thin is what it says. Well, that is pretty thin. I don't know if you can see that. Let's cut another piece. I don't know why you want to cut a grape paper thin, but it tells you that you can. You know what? I'm pretty impressed with how thin um, this can cut. It's pretty nice. Let me see if I can cut that thin with my regular knife. Oh, nope. Nope. Nah, that's just, that's just not cutting it. No pun intended. All right, so now I'm going to take this forged and fire knife, and we're going to cut through a block of cheese. Now, I picked up a pretty large block of cheese um, when I was at Walmart, and so here this thing is. Now, you're having a party. You want to slice this up. Let's see. Let's see how this cuts. This is the test for me. I am putting some force on it. Let's see. Um, it did okay. I, I'm not that impressed. I got a little bit of it that stuck to it here. Um, I'm not that impressed actually. That's about the force I would normally put down 
when I'm slicing it. So let's see again. Yeah, it's okay. It's the same force as what I would use with this. So I'm not sure if I like that any better or worse. Actually, it was a little easier to cut it with this knife. Um, so I'm not sure. I think the cheese test, the forged and fire knife didn't do as hot as I thought it would be. Let's try the pepperoni. All right. Oh yeah, that just cut through real nice. It's real smooth. You see that easy motion? Look at what it's like with the regular knife. That's not the forging. I have to have to carve it almost. This is a very sharp, pretty nice knife. So it just slices through. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this knife cleaned up for its final test of the day. I'm actually going to try to chop another knife in half. We'll see what happens. All right, so now I'm going to do something that I've been looking forward to doing ever since I bought this forged and fire knife. I want to chop another knife in half. So I have this knife here. I'm just going to leave right there. I am wearing protective eyewear. Um, I know you can't see it on camera, but I've been looking forward to this because this knife claims that it can actually chop another knife. So let's, let's see what happens. It's going to be loud. One, two, Nope, didn't chop it. Oh, and I think it might have maybe maybe uh, messed the blade up a little. Oh, that makes me very sad. I've been looking forward to doing that. Too bad. Today we've been testing out this sweet Forged in Fire butcher knife. It's based on the History Channel show Forged in Fire, and it's an as seen on TV knife. Um, we cut through a grape, paper thin. Did an amazing job. We cut pepperoni with uh, without any trouble. It was a breeze. Um, slicing the cheese, on the other hand, was a little more difficult than the other two, but still, it did a fine job. Now, when it came to slicing another knife in half, it just didn't cut it. Um, that disappointed me a little. I did chip the um, the blade, but I was able to use a sharpener and I polished it right out pretty easily. It's a it's a tough knife. It's a good knife. It's about thirty bucks. Um, if it's something that you're interested in, I bought this one at Walmart. I will say part of the care and handling is this should only be washed with warm soapy water. Don't put it in the dishwasher, okay? Um, that was my review of the Forged and Fire knife. Um, if you have used this kind of a knife or other kind of knife, leave me a message down below and tell me about it. What do you think of this? Is there another knife out there that you think is better? This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. When I was looking at the back of the Forge and Fire box, I noticed some of those words were really, really hard to see. You know what comes in handy when you're trying to read? One Power Readers. It's a pair of glasses I did a review on not too long ago, and I'm going to link the video right over here. And so if you wouldn't mind clicking on this video here, and I'll meet you over there at the One Power Reader video. See you there.